we will look at a few experiments about conduction. So firstly is the conduction in solid. You can see that the red one is some wax. And you can see when we heat up from the right hand side, the pin will fall down one by one. And then when we compare three different materials to see the speed of the heat conduction, we will find that copper is fastest, followed by aluminium and then the iron. So we know that different materials will have different rates of conduction. And for the conduction in liquid, let's draw the diagram here to show you how to draw a diagram. This is a setup with some wire gross to trap the ice at the bottom of a boiling tube. And then we will fill it up with the water. Now we will heat up the water at the top of the boiling tube to see whether the ice will melt. And we will find that a very interesting phenomenon. The ice won't melt, but the water on the top boils to show how weak the heat conduct of the liquid. And this one is about the conduction of gas. We have a heater and to test the temperature of both sides. And we will find that the temperature change is quite slow. The thermometer on the left hand side will be heated up first, while the thermometer on the right hand side won't change that much. So in the summary of the heat conduction process, we should aware different material will have different rates of heat transfer through conduction, and heat cannot be conducted in vacuum. Compared with different state, solid is the best, better than liquid and better than gas. Metal is a good conductor, while the most of the long metal are poor conductor of heat. For the conductivity of heat of different metals, copper is better than aluminium and then better than the iron. And you should note that a good conductor is also a poor insulator and a good insulator is also a poor conductor.